The City of Astoria has placed a proposed Astoria Library Improvement Bond on this November's ballot. Why is the proposed measure being referred to voters? Built 55 years ago, the Astoria Public Library faces challenges, including over half of the library is inaccessible to users with disabilities, lack of space for children and teen programming, original 1960s building systems, including heating and cooling, plumbing, electrical, and roofing, have reached the end of their usable life. Technology infrastructure is outdated. The mezzanine is not accessible and has structural and seismic issues. If passed, how would Measure 4-220 address these challenges with our library? 1. 100% accessible building. Remove inaccessible mezzanine and remodel main floor and basement. Estimated to increase accessible floor space by 126%. Elevator to make all floors accessible. Upgrade bathrooms. Outside ramp. Widen aisles to allow users with wheelchairs and strollers to browse selections. 2. Expanding children's space and programming. Larger designated area for children's programming, literacy, and learning opportunities. Create a larger designated area for teen programming and collaboration. 3. Update technology. Install modern wiring and technology to meet modern library standards. 4. Repair an aging building. Replace inefficient heating and cooling systems. Electrical, roofing, flooring, lighting, and plumbing upgrades. Add energy efficient windows. And 5. Community access. Adds meeting rooms that can be used by study groups, clubs, and nonprofit community organizations. The proposed design for the remodel is estimated to expand the accessible space from 3,978 square feet to 8,973 square feet, an increase of 126%, without new construction and without increasing its footprint, preserving the exterior historical character of the library. The city estimates that the proposed $8 million bond, if passed, would increase the tax rate by 57 cents per $1,000 of assessed property value. If the measure passes, funds could only be used for projects in this video approved by voters. If the proposed bond measure does not pass, the proposed projects would not be completed, and the tax rate of 57 cents per $1,000 of assessed value would not be assessed. Want to see a detailed list of proposed bond projects or learn more? Please visit astorialibrarybond.com. And please remember to vote by November 8th.